Hello and welcome to the ultimate Animal Crossing on the GameCube guide. Before I start, I'd like to address that I have other videos on the channel that go more in depth on the first five techniques that I'll be talking about, but I just wanted to make this guide for anyone getting into the Animal Crossing for the GameCube and there are a lot of unanswered questions that you might have, so I'm going to just go through them. The first one is how to get all the fruit. Now, to get all the fruit in Animal Crossing for the GameCube, it is very difficult to do it naturally. You'd have to basically either send letters to your villagers till they send them back, but getting gifts from villagers is very random, and to get a fruit is extremely rare, let alone to get all of them. So I have a video on my channel on where the codes are. I'll leave the codes in the description of this video. And basically you go to Tom Nook and you go through his dialogue. I have a video on this, how to really do this. And you can uh, enter the code and it'll send you the fruit. The other way you could do this naturally is by having another memory card. Or if you're on Dolphin Emulator, you could just emulate another memory card. Make an island. You'd have to go through all the start dialogue, all that, which would take roughly 20 minutes. And then hope that that town has a different fruit from your native town. A fishing technique, how to get all the bugs and fish. It's very simple. I have a video, again, on my channel on going into this more depth, and I'll show clips of that. But basically, the way the GameCube works is there are loading chunks, and these chunks reset every time the player walks in and out. So I learned this from watching speedrunners, which I'd recommend if you're having trouble finding a bug or a fish, just watch how to get the golden fishing rod or golden net, and they'll prob they have to catch the bug or fish, so you'll definitely see them catch it. But basically, you just go back and forth and wait for the size of the fish to spawn, and this way you can get a lot of bells just catching super rare fish like the colacanth and the uh, string fish but it's very easy one of the most difficult ones is catching the spider which i have a video on on my channel and basically you're just going back and forth shaking trees and it will spawn eventually but it takes a while and my la next tip is basically just watching speedrunners um they basically hone their craft on how to get bugs and fish and turnips the quickest so if you ever have a problem with catching a certain bug or fish, just watch them. Um, next is how to write perfect letters. And the way you write a perfect letter is just doing the letter A, period, space, and then continue it. So A, period, space, A, period, space, A, period, space. Mm -hmm. And you just have to do it for around like two lines. And basically what the GameCube sees is it's not looking for an actual sentence, it's just looking for complete words. So if you just put random letters, the villagers aren't going to understand it, and they'll write back complaining about your letter being confusing. But the GameCube reads in the letter A as an actual letter, so or an actual word. So even though it doesn't make sense, the GameCube recognizes it as a complete sentence. And then one of my other tips is how to upgrade Nook's Cranny. Now, if you've gotten to the point where you have ten, <coughs> 10 villagers in your town and the last five won't move in, that's because you have to actually visit another town and then those villagers have to move in from you going to their town and then them crossing over. So basically, you need another memory card or if you're on Dolphin, you can easily make another memory card. You have to visit a town so basically what you're going to have to do is go through the cutscene five times, delete the town, make a new one, go, and when you go on the train, it'll save one of those villagers and they'll come over to your town and you'll do this till there are 15. If you don't want any of your original villagers to move out, then never get to the point of having 15, but if you have like 14 I believe, um, no villagers will move out, but none will move in. And once you get the max number of villagers, Tom Nook will upgrade it to the 
Nook Mall or whatever, and that's where you'll where you'll get Timmy and Tommy, and it's definitely worth it, even if villagers do move out, because my next tip is how to kick out villagers, and this is actually pretty much impossible. I've looked everywhere how to kick them out, hitting them with the net, and you really can't. Basically, you just have to embrace it. It's not Animal Crossing for the new horizons. The villagers you hate, they're pretty much just going to be on your island. I've played this game for two years now, and the villagers that I hate, like Buck, and there's another sheep I dislike, um, you just kind of got to embrace that they're going to be there living on your island forever, but it's just too difficult. The next tip is how to get on the island for the coconuts and the Hawaiian shirt. And so if you don't have a Game Boy or the link cable, you can't do this on the GameCube. So you could either use a code to just get the coconuts from the fruit codes or the Hawaiian shirt. I'm pretty sure there's a code you can get. There's really no reason to get a Hawaiian, uh, go to the island in the first place. There are no bugs or fish that are exclusive to the island. You can completely finish the game without ever going to it. Once you get it, all you're really doing is walking around a bare island with some flowers, so it's not really worth it. Then, how to get a lot of money is you have to play the turnip market. Um, on Dolphin, this is super easily done by changing your computer's time because it won't recognize it as time traveling. But, um, Basically, you're just buying turnips, selling them, you know the rest, and eventually you will get one of the days where you make a ton of turnips. So that's kind of the point of the game, not to time travel, but it's a lot of fun when you don't. Um, how to improve graphics on Dolphin. So for these last two tips, I'm just going to put links on how to do this because it's been a while, but you can't do this on the original GameCube, but you can on the dolphin emulator basically you're just adding gra uh, replacement textures for the game and as you can see in my game they look really nice but not everything's complete you can do that yourself actually but that's pretty much it um, if you have any questions just leave them in the comments I've played this game for a while so I know a lot but I don't know everything and I guess the last tip I could give you is how to get the perfect um, map or island and that's just by uh, going to the wishing well every day and he'll give you updated responses like too many trees too little trees there are videos on it I recommend you just search that on YouTube but that's pretty much it so thanks for watching and goodbye